Hello all you beautiful people, my name is Zach Daddy. Today we're talking about how to customize your skateboard. In specific, I'm gonna be making some wheel wells on my board. What that means is like making little grivets under our wheel area so that I can have loose trucks and still be able to churn tight without riser pads. The reason that I don't like riding riser pads is because I like a really low profile board. And what I mean by that, and a way to kind of make an analogy around that is like, imagine a truck swerving through corners versus like a race car that's like low, it's got sway bars, swerving through corners. It's gonna have more control. So essentially I don't like riding riser pads because I feel like you have less control, you're farther from the ground, you get less snap. So yeah, I got excuses all day why I don't like riding riser pads. Doesn't mean that, that you can't ride them. I think sometimes some people like riser pads and that's totally fine. People often ask me how I ride loose trucks without riser pads. And this is gonna be an example of how to do that. I actually don't ride loose trucks. I ride my trucks just as I get them. That's kind of like my technique for breaking in trucks. I don't tighten them, I don't loosen them. I ride them as they are for the first month. And it can be hard at times, like you get too loose or too tight, but if you make it through that first month, I really think your bushings start to curate to your type of skating. And then you can tighten or loosen them from there. But yeah, I pretty much just ride the trucks as they are not loose not tight just as they come so today we're going to be talking about how to customize your skateboard thanks to dremel they sent me this rotary tool and i think i'm going to be making a lot of things with this tool not just some wheel wells in my skateboard i have an idea for some skate jewelry some uh, home decor ideas for skateboards using this tool so i'm super excited to open it up and and look what's inside Major shout out to Dremel. This tool is definitely gonna help me for a lot of other projects too. Like I'm gonna get my wheel wheels, customize my board today, but I will be using this tool on tons of other things. And if you wanna do this at home, you wanna make some wheel wheels and customize your skateboard, you can actually do this with just a drill. There's tons of other tools. This is just a really handy, kind of the right tool for doing something like this, but doesn't mean that you can't do it in any other ways. You can get creative. You can like chip it out with a chisel if you need to. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into this. I actually uh, got this idea from Chris Cope. I remember he had some wheel wheels, but he did it just with a drill and basically just did a bunch of different marks, kind of just all over the place and got it to where his wheels or his trucks basically, you know, and his wheels don't wheel bite as quick. He rides really loose trucks as well. So this isn't my idea. This isn't like some creative genius of me. I've seen other people do this and I've never done it myself. I just thought like, wow, if I can get that rotary tool and do that, it'd be the perfect combination. So let's uh, let's jump into making some wheel wheels. Now for this board, you can see we're already getting wheel bite. So I kind of have some markers. I could take my rails off and my trucks off and have more access to all of this. But at the same time, I kind of think I'd rather make some wheel wheels that are realistic with everything that is in place. So I'm just gonna go down a little bit on where you can see I've already gotten wheel bite previously. Basically every skateboard, not every skateboard, but most skateboards are seven plies and we know that. So basically we're going to sand down a couple plies and then we're going to try to get down two plies. And as you can see now that I've uh, sanded down, you can almost see where that second ply is, a different color. I need to get the rest down. But once we file these all down, down to that maybe, you know, third, it's actually now I look at it, it's like the third ply where it's like the most in depth right here so we're gonna sand down three plies that's what i'm gonna try and then go skate and test it out and maybe we'll uh file down even more but i think that'll be a nice place to where we can avoid getting wheel bite and it's just a fun way to customize your skateboard i think it's time to go test this out let's head over to the skate park and see if i can uh get out of a couple of tricks easier. Basically what it is is when you're in a pinch, you'll be able to not hit your wheel against the board and fall. We'll be able to sort of slide our way out of tricks, if you will, or maybe uh, rub our wheel against the board just a little bit more. So skating tight transition or things like that, doing tight turns is gonna be a lot easier, have a little more flexibility. So let's head over to the skate park and test it out. 
Now, I just want to say, customizing your board might not be for everyone. You might be thinking like, hey, I can get riser pads. Why would I customize my board like that? And it's just for fun. It's not always, it's not for everyone. But if you enjoy these videos and customize your board, little DIY hacks, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're not already. Let me know if you like these kind of things because I could do some more. There's tons of different things that you can do to your skateboard to customize it and make it, I guess, more tailored to your type of skating. If you like riding trucks without risers like I like doing, then you can uh, make some custom wheel wells. So let's test this out. We're here at Lakeside Skate Park, one of my favorite skate parks in San Diego. They got a really nice bowl back here. It's always pretty empty. So uh, we have some nice tight churns to really test out these wheel wells and see if they prevent me from having wheel bite. You got two scooters on one? Yeah. Whoa. Double scooter. Man. Double scooter, damn. Customize your scooter. I like that. You invent that? Let's see. Portite was a good example of how these wheel wells will help me churn out of tricks. I think without the wheel wells, I probably would have gotten a wheel bite a couple more times, but I was able to kind of like finesse my way out of that because I could pinch in really quick and pinch out really quick. So there's definitely advantages to the wheel wells, like 5-0 grind inside. I realize I'm out of breath while I'm trying to talk, but that's just because I'm in a crunch for time. Like during 5 O's, you can really pinch your wheel into your board without stopping. That's really nice. So, a couple cruises around the street course and then uh whoo gotta get some more concrete done today working on the house almost done with the housework super excited to show you guys what that looks like when it's finally done What I'm trying to do is basically grab my nose and kick my front foot off like a judo, anti-judo, and then go back in. But I don't know how to do this trick. It's like a, a Willis Kimball trick. He does it quite a lot. He does front side five, oh, grab the nose, kick your front foot off. I want to do one of those in my video parts. I don't know how to do them, so I'm trying to learn them here, but I don't think today is the day. I might have to learn that on another day, but I appreciate all of you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash that like button if you did. Subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you in the next one. Mash.